Welcome back to WHHI News. Joining me now is Chuck Mullen. He is the Recreation and, help me Chuck, what's the full title? Operations. Operations Superintendent, <laughs> yeah. that part I got, thank you. That's quite a title mm -hmm. and you do a lot of work. I know that you're here to tell us about um, Island Rec's winter program. Mm -hmm. Sounds like it's gonna be very busy over there. You wanna start with basketball? Yeah, so our youth basketball program registration just ended for that the other day. Um, we have well over 300 kids signed up, so. We're working right now on putting them on teams and assembling coaches and that kind of stuff. They'll practice in a little bit in December and then the games will be played in January and February. 300, that's amazing, yeah. the number. I mean, is that an all-time high? It's probably pretty close. Pretty close, yeah. huh? Well, good for you. Um, now, you're also doing flag football? Yeah, so in the winter they do uh, a, an NFL flag football season, which means the kids get to wear replica NFL jerseys and everything. Cool. So yeah, it's, it's next to basketball, it's a very popular program. and. Yeah. So they get to pick their favorite NFL team and, and wear those jerseys. That's neat. And how mm -hmm. long does that program last? It's the same as basketball. So the games start in uh, January and run through February. Now, can kids do both? Or yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's, you know, if, if they're ambitious enough, sure. Yeah. Um, the game We do set up our game schedule different days of the week. So. Oh, so they can participate in both? They can, yeah. If they have if a real want... passion for sports. And... Oh, you want to keep them out of trouble, too. Yeah, that's that, a good way that's to put them in all the that... sports. A wrong idea there. You've got that right. What about swimming? I know um, people do use Island Rec mm -hmm. adults and, and youngsters yeah. um, for the pool. How's that going? Good. Uh, the dome or the bubble just went up a couple weeks ago. So, um, but you know, the temperature's great there. They work to keep it above 80 degrees. So it's still very, um, very manageable and comfortable. Uh, besides the youth swim lessons they do, there are times for adult lap swim and that kind of stuff. And that's on your website because I know I've checked that out in the past. Hey, I forgot about archery, which is fairly yeah. new to you all. And it, it's big, huh? Yeah. Nate Skager is our outdoor uh, recreation coordinator. And uh, besides everything he does with the surfing and the kayaking and, and the fishing, uh, he's brought in archery. and. Uh, he, it's had a very good response. It, it really has. Uh, you're talking about having then those targets set mm -hmm. up, uh, bows, arrows, bow arrows for enough people. Did, did you have all that there oh, yeah. now? Yeah, and he uses open field space at Barker and Crossings. And, uh, you know, it's, it's set certain age, uh, age groups have different distances. They shoot at the target and everything. So, and you've yeah. gotten a good response. Excellent response. Still room if people are interested? Yeah, he's got some programs. Uh, the dates of when he's doing uh, his programs are all on our website. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, the biggest uh, sport around, at least on the island and elsewhere this, these days, is pickleball. Yeah. How's that going over there? What's the news? Tremendous. Uh, uh, about two months ago, uh, the courts were resurfaced. The town did an excellent job of resurfacing the six courts over at Adrian, Adrian Lane, which is old schoolhouse park. So, so those are essentially brand new courts. Uh, we always have a great response of people playing behind our building on our courts. So we have brought in Miss Sarah Mitten um, as our new pickleball coordinator. Uh, she's a senior professional level player. Wow. Um, excellent resource uh, going forward. Uh, she's gonna help coordinate some new program initiatives, um, 101 type stuff, tournaments. Um, great. Yeah, like a little more comp you know, competition yeah. and, and clinics and that kind of stuff. Well, and I'm sure that'll all be a huge um, success. Mm -hmm. And a yeah. feather in the cap of the rec center, too, that you have someone of that caliber that's going to be running the whole program. Yeah, she's fantastic. She'll do a great job. Wonderful. And again, all the information is available on your website. Let's talk quickly, though, about how you rely on businesses, uh, maybe even individuals, I don't know, to, to be sponsors. Yeah, sponsorship. Uh, Ms. Jordan Weber handles our sponsorships. Um, you know, her contact information is on the website. We have options for individual sports sponsorships where you can get your business name on the back of, the, you know, a team jersey. Or we have an all year sponsorship where, you you know, it's a certain package where you pay yearly and you have your business name on every every season of every sport. Um, wow. Yeah, uh, Jordan Weber, she, you, she'd she be the one to contact for that. So uh, certainly always looking for, for help in that area. Always. Right? Well, we appreciate your time and letting folks know what's going on this winter at the Hilton Head Island uh, Rec Center. Thank mm -hmm. you so much, Chuck. Yes, ma'am, thank uh, you. We'll have you in again, okay? Sure. Great, and we will be back in just a moment.